fight, fight, fight. You see who I'm next to? Gloria Allred. I am so happy to be sitting here. We were talking about your amazing documentary, Seeing All Red on Netflix. I'm so proud of all of the women who have had the courage to speak out. Rich, famous, powerful men have to understand there are rules, there are boundaries. They must respect those boundaries. This has got to end, and it needs to end right now. Very exciting because it shows also people who are fighting to win change because no one gives us our rights. We always have to fight to win it. And most people don't realize how much strength and courage they have within them to win justice. I love when you're talking in a documentary because for so many people, they don't understand why women are doing press conferences. But I think when the discussion came up, hey, hear their narrative, hear what they've gone through. That's right. And also that it's not only the rich, the powerful, and the famous who should be able to have a voice. Mm. It's also people who have been victimized yeah. by people who are rich, powerful, and famous. The person who you ordinarily wouldn't hear from, you wouldn't know their name, and who will ordinarily be denied their rights and suffer in silence. And for those who will choose not to believe that I am speaking the truth of what happened to me, please know that I wish it were not true. You give so many people strength, people that you defend, that you're standing up for. Who gives you strength? I am inspired by my clients every day because they're doing what Gandhi says, which is be the change you wish to see in the world. Right. And this year at the Women's March, mm -hmm. the slogan of the Women's March was, you are the leaders you have been waiting for. And when victims are transformed, when they become empowered, they're making a difference not only for themselves, but also for people in their family that see them as role mm -hmm. models, for people in their community, for people in their workplaces. And this is making a difference for them individually and for those around them. God, it's so great talking to you. I feel like I'm gonna go run the world now, just having this conversation. Fire like, it up. Let's Ready go. Ready to go, right. Now, you've been through so much in your career, lots of highs and a couple setbacks. What would you say was the highest point of your career? It's actually every day, mm -hmm. because my most important case is my last case, my present case and my next case. <laughs> I mean, I have a high point every day because I'm excited to help people have access to justice yeah. and to assert their rights and to vindicate their rights in courts of law, in the legislatures, in the streets, yep. wherever and whenever mm -hmm. we have the opportunity to do so. We talk about the Me Too movement. We've been doing this for 42 years. Do you feel that credit should be owed to you for the Me Too and Time's Up movement? I'm not seeking credit, I am seeking change. And I think credit goes to all of those brave people who are willing to fight for that change. Women are now empowered, and they will never be silent again. While I was watching a documentary, I was just loving how you would get back at people, but very classy, but very firm, and you're just not scared to back down. No, you know, at all. She's trying to turn women into men. I think secretly you envy women and you fear them. In your book, Fight Back and Win, you talk about how women, we can empower ourselves, we can win the battles that we're yes, going we through. Yes, we can. What would you say we can start doing right now? Three things, simple things that we can begin to do to empower ourselves. If you feel that you have been the victim of injustice, I would say you could consult an attorney. There are many attorneys who will give you a legal consultation at no charge. Mm -hmm. And then you can have knowledge of what rights you have, whether it's worthwhile to exercise your rights or not, mm -hmm. knowledge is power. The second thing I would say is reach out for support. For example, if you're a battered woman, mm -hmm. make sure you're not isolated. There are those who will support you, better women's shelters, rape crisis centers, if you're a rape victim. There are so many people who will support you. And I would say finally, just get help and don't be paralyzed into doing nothing. My slogan that I love, which is from the famous labor organizer, Mother Jones, is pray for the dead mm. and fight like hell for the living. I love you so much, Gloria. I could talk to you all day. Love you back. Absolutely. You. And you know what? We're going to keep the fight. We're going to keep going. We're never going to back down. That's right. That's the way. I you know, it. we shall overcome. <laughs>